This is the installation. After Effects, as you can see, got the spacer there. I had to cut out some wooden pieces, drill a hole to do that. And this screw right here, um, I just barely got enough room to uh, to get it on the side. Um, if I had a, a better spacer, I would have been good. This one is just barely touching itself as well, just because of I don't have a thin enough spacer. But to kind of show you what I had to do with this particular door, uh, I kind of had to invert everything. And I was only able to put in the one set of screws. Um, onto the back panel here, and this on the wood, based on the instructions. So I don't have the full reinforcement um, <clears throat> that is required there, but I'll put in enough screws to make it tight enough uh, to make it work. Um, but I did do the template, and I kind of left the template back there. Um, overall, it's, it's pretty good, minus the nicking that it's causing because um, of the spacer, I just I couldn't get it uh, wide enough to to bolt there. There was no other spacer that was the proper thickness. So I just recommend if you're gonna do it, either put. A we took two traditional cabinet doors and made our own little system to make it one pull-out cabinet for our trash and recycling. I like these um, trash bins because they're actually quite large and um, hold quite a bit. Anyway, um, The buckets that came with it were probably maybe up to another couple inches, so they wouldn't fit in there. So I just put these buckets, garbage and bins in there. And if Recycling. This might have sucked my soul a little bit more than I had.